on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel. This is the term used to describe the process of gathering the silkworms and harvesting the cocoon to collect the materials. Female silk moths lay anything from around 300 to 500 eggs at any one time. These eggs eventually hatch to form silkworms, which are incubated in a controlled environment until they hatch into larvae, caterpillars. Once the silkworms have spun their cocoon, they will eventually enclose themselves inside it and then it's time to extract the silk threads. The cocoons are placed into boiling water in order to soften and dissolve the gum that is holding the cocoon together. This is a crucial step in the silk production process as it ensures that there is no damage to the continuity of each thread. Each thread is then carefully reeled from the cocoon in individual long threads, which are then wound on a reel. Some of the saracen may still remain on the threads to protect the fibers during processing, but this is usually washed out with soap and boiling water. When the silk threads have been washed and degummed, they will be bleached and dried before the dyeing process commences. Traditional silk dyeing techniques take the dyes from natural resources found in the surrounding environment, such as fruit or indigo plant leaves. The threads will be soaked together in bundles, inside a pot of hot indigo leaves and water. This process will occur multiple times over a span of days to ensure proper color tone and quality. The traditional spinning wheel has always, and will always be an integral part of the silk production process. Although updated industrial processes are now able to spin silk threads much quicker, it simply mimics the functions of the classic spinning wheel. The process of spinning essentially unwinds the dyed fibers onto a bobbin, so that they lay flat ready for the weaving process. This can be done in many different ways from hand spinning to ring spinning and mule spinning. Weaving is the process in which the final piece of silk comes together. There are many different ways in which silk can be woven. Satin weave, plain weave and open weave are most common, and the finish of the silk will depend on the type of weave. Generally, weaving involves interlacing two sets of threads so that they lock around each other and create a strong, uniform piece of fabric. The threads will be woven at right angles to each other, and the two different angles are called a warp and a weft. The warp will run up and down the fabric, while the weft runs across it. Should a piece of silk require a special pattern or design, it will need to be printed after pre-treatment. This can be done in two different ways. Digital silk printing uses a specially designed textile printer, using ink to transfer hand-drawn or digitally produced artwork onto fabrics. Screen printing is the traditional, more hands-on method of essentially creating the same outcome, though in some cases, a bolder, more vibrant look may be achieved due to a thicker application of ink. <laughs> 